else went to see, skip, and rent this week. Nothing new out at the box office. No, nothing new this week. But, but a lot of came out on Christmas, so yeah, we're still catching up. Seven movies on Christmas Day, so <laughs> I had to catch up this week. All right, let's start with Daddy's Home, Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. It's supposed to be a funny movie. Yeah, Was it's, the, it funny? it's the second comedy. <laughs> yeah, it, it is funny. It's the second comedy together for them after the other mm -hmm. guys. Um, Ferrell stars as the straight-laced stepdad who's trying to get his stepkids to love him, but uh, his plans are messed up when Wahlberg, the rough and rowdy biological father, comes home. Um, and uh, as I said, you know, this is the second comedy together for them. Uh, that movie the other guys showed that Wahlberg is not only funny but that they have great chemistry together and that chemistry really does a lot of the heavy lifting for this film but they can't do it all on their own this movie still needs a good script and this one is is just a bad script it's bland and derivative and you can definitely tell this movie was thrown together quickly by the studio in an effort to uh, capitalize uh, or replicate the success of the other guys uh, but you know they didn't pay enough attention to shaping you know the script up, to shaping up the script and uh, this movie uh, really is just uh, while the other guys subverted the stereotypes of the buddy comedy genre this one really embraces them and just uh, settles for lowest common denominator comedy there's a lot of juvenile slapstick here uh, it feels like cheaper by the dozen one second and then uh, it, then it feels really uneven it goes really raunchy and it feels like the hangover the next and so it can't really find the right tone but uh, you know there are flashes of wit and originality like you can tell that these guys do have chemistry as I said uh, but you know it's just not enough you're not gonna hate this movie I think but there's a good chance you're gonna walk out of it feeling somewhat disappointed so I'm gonna say skip this one all right not even rent it <laughs> that's tough yeah it's, uh, <laughs> well, well we'll move on to a movie that's getting a lot of conversation started talking yeah. about concussion with Will Smith obviously this is something the NFL and the NCAA have been talking about for a long time and this is kind of in response to that yeah it's it's a bold choice I think for the studio to release this movie considering America loves football I mean including myself and this movie is openly uh, you know taking on you know the NFL and wanting to expose the dangers of playing football um, it stars Will Smith as Dr. Bennett Omalu uh, the accomplished pathologist who uh, discovers the truth about uh, brain damage in football players who suffer repeated concussions in the course of normal play and um, yeah while it is bold though for the studio to release it I don't think it's really going to succeed that well at changing hearts and minds because this movie just whispers when it should shout uh, the evidence is there but the problems with the argument you know this movie is like the equivalent of having a really interesting class in school but a terrible teacher uh, because it's just it's dramatically just asleep and it doesn't build any momentum it's not emotionally affecting this movie really needs to just you know be hard hitting and affecting for it to really work and it just doesn't I have some other small problems with it I think it's a little too one dimensional on how it portrays the NFL and it's a little too cliche but there is good stuff in here I think the stories of the people who suffer CTE that was really touching and heartbreaking and most surprisingly Will Smith was tremendous in this I thought I was gonna have a big <laughs> problem with his accent I was sort of you know laughing a little bit in the in the previews but he was great in this and really did a good job so uh, it, it's worth a look but the story deserves a better movie I think all right, move on to the last one, Carol. Yeah, Carol, this is a, a movie uh, that's set in the 1950s about a department store clerk who falls for a married older woman. Uh, this movie stars Rooney Mara and Kate Blanchett, both of whom are nominated for Best Actress in a Drama at the Golden Globes that are coming up. Uh, the film actually leads the Golden Globe nominations with five, including one for Best Picture Drama. You're going to see a lot of Oscar nominations for this film, too, not only on the acting side, but also on the technical side, uh, because the attention to detail and amount of work put into this movie is just staggering. Um, I I thought that the uh, set design, the costumes, the cinematography, the music all work together in perfect harmony, making this one of the most beautiful movies I've seen mm -hmm. in a long, long time. Um, it's a beautifully romanticized 1950s that complements the style of the film, which is subtle and understated. There's not much dialogue in this movie, but it really doesn't need it, which is impressive. Um, a gaze or a look lets you know or a touch lets you know exactly what the characters are feeling at all times. Um, it's very emotional and affecting too. Uh, it's really pertinent to today and I thought it features two powerhouse performances by these two. I think they're going to get Oscar nominations and I really hope they do because this is one of the best movies of the year I think. Wow. Big words from yeah. Will Byer. We got to see a skip and a rent all in one week. Yeah. Now, I'll put you on the spot here. What's your the movie you're most looking forward to this year? Uh, to 2016? Yeah. Uh, that's tough. I don't really, there's a lot coming out. The Coen Brothers movie, because it's on my mind, it comes uh -huh. out in a few weeks. Hail Caesar. I'm really excited about that one, but there's so many more I couldn't tell you yet. All right, Will Meyer, thank you so much. Well,